girls, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good. Today's another favourites video. I don't film one of these every month and every time I do film one, I usually start it being really out of breath because I have to go and grab everything from where it belongs and I feel like every single time I do one of these, the start of the edit, I'm like, wow, you're unfit. Make make the gym your new favourite next month because my god, you cannot breathe. I'm going to get into it. I've got quite a lot of beauty and kind of like skin look after yourself kind of products but I've tried to vary it up and put in a few foodie things just so that it keeps it a bit more varied this month. I don't make one of these every single month actually. I kind of go between doing lots of them and then none at all. I think the reason for that is because I have quite spendy months where I feel like I'm looking for new stuff, I'd like new beds and I'd like, you know, just like changing things up in the house and stuff. And then some months I don't spend anything or if I've like maybe put on weight, I don't want to buy any new clothes or if I've just got new makeup, I wait till it runs out. I'm getting better at not just splurging. So that's maybe why I've not got always a new favourites video every single month. But we do have one this month and I'm going to start it off and show you what I've been drinking. This is amazing, this stuff. So I've been trying to diet and be a bit more mindful with calories and not binge and if I'm having like a McDonald's I'm tracking it. If it goes in my mouth it goes in the phone. That's the that's the motto. So I've been trying to be a bit more mindful of that. I have lost weight and thank you so much for everyone who had commented on the last video saying you could really see it in my face. That means so much because I have been trying like I've had loads of off days as well don't get me wrong but I've been very good at then just jumping right back onto it. So thank you so much if you have sent me a nice message. It's very very encouraging. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to show you is this water. It's not the bottle, it's actually the water inside it. So a lovely girl I know, Alana, had told me about this. I was out for lunch one day and bumped into her and I was talking about how I find it really hard to get protein into my diet. Like I'm not very good. I used to be so good at eating loads of meat and see now I can just think of like nothing worse than just sitting with a pack of chicken just to get the protein up. So I got this. This is the My Protein clear whey isolate and this has 20 grams of protein in every single like scoop so all you do is take a scoop of this it's just like powder inside and you add it to water you shake it it's said to leave for 15 seconds to settle you actually do need to leave it for about five minutes to fully dissolve but see once you've done that it just tastes like flavored water but it's got 20 grams of protein in it so it's great serving it's 80 calories so it's not really high in calories um, and it gives you 20 grams of protein so it's great it's good for me to just know that if I have maybe even two of them a day I've pretty much got on track to my protein target and for those of you who are asking on Instagram the reason why I'm trying to go high protein is because I do think it keeps me fuller for longer and it also helps like with building muscle and also the fat loss is better metabolized I'm sure I could be saying all this wrong but it does definitely help you to lose weight if you have high protein in your diet. So especially since I've been doing boot camps and I've been doing personal training as well, I find having like protein consumption to sort of like help aid the fat loss, it's really helping me out. So this one here I've got is in the peach tea flavour, but I'm not joking when I say there's like honestly about 20 different flavours. This one's really, really nice. It tastes like Volvic Touch of Fruit, the peach one. Um, and I've heard as well, is it the dragon fruit one? It's meant to be amazing, but apparently they're all really nice. So I've been having that in my water bottle or I've been having it in this big massive gallon bottle and putting two scoops in. It's absolutely enormous. Like it's bigger than my head. I've been putting it on Instagram. That really should have been part of this video. But anyway, this just now is it's not part of an ad or anything, but they have got a discount code on just now. I'm sure it's called Extra. I think you just put an extra to check out. I'll leave it in the description box if anyone wants to try it. But it's now, I think I paid £20 for this it's now down to like 14 pounds. So if you want to try it, now's the best time to do it. If that offer's still on, then I will link it below so you can just go straight to it. I've actually been speaking to some of the guys on my protein just for like advice and stuff. So if that discount doesn't work, I will send them a message and see if they'll give like maybe a special one for you guys on here because they are quite good that way. I'll send them a little message. But yeah, I bought this for 20 pounds. It's now 14, so I've ordered another flavor. So that'll be coming next week. Hello, competitor. I bought this because if you're on TikTok and if you're on like food TikTok or diet TikTok or calorie counting TikTok, you'll have not been able to miss this. Everyone's talking about it. This is the Protein World Slender Mug Cake Mix. 
Now, when I was dieting before, I used to do um, Herbalife years ago and I lost a lot of weight. It was not sustainable for me then. Like it was for those months that I was doing it, but long term, I just slipped into different habits. So when I was doing that, I used to always make mug cakes from their protein powder and they were really, really good, but they were a bit rubbery. So you were kind of playing at it. Whereas this is genuinely like eat a cake for breakfast because I have this in the morning just because it's quick. So all you need to do is take, there's a little scoop that comes with it, it's downstairs. You take three scoops of this into any mug or ramekin, like big ramekin. It tells you to put in coconut oil, but I don't do that. I just put in the mix with either water or milk. If you do it with milk, it's 135 calories in total, including the coconut oil, which I don't think you actually need, but for moistness, oh shivers, then maybe you will want to do the coconut oil, but I just do it with milk. So you do three scoops of the cake mix with two and a half, they say, but I do three scoops of milk. I use almond milk or any other alternative milk. I don't use cow's milk for these and when you mix it together then you put it in the microwave for 50 seconds sometimes i do a little bit less just so it's a bit more like lava cake in the middle it is absolutely amazing like honestly it doesn't taste like it should be part of a diet so it's 135 calories per mug cake um and this one i got is chalk caramel chew flavor so it's got little bits of chocolate through it and little bits of like these caramel chunks which are actually chewy so delicious and normally what I will do is sometimes if I think it looks a little bit dry if I put it in for too long I'll put some of that sweet freedom syrup on top of it just try it so so good there's tons of different flavors they've actually got a subscription on their website that I noticed that I might sign on to because I definitely think I'll be having these a lot and you get I think you start off with like one of these and then every week or every month I will send you another three flavours to try but you can select them but they've got a red velvet cake mix on there as well and they've also got a birthday cake one I'm sure like it's just like a kind of vanilla so I'm going to try them all because I can't wait exciting and I'm sure I paid £12 for this which does seem steep but not really just try it very very good the subscribe and save you actually do save money on so if you are looking to order more of them and make it better off just doing the subscription on it I think you can cancel it any time as well I suppose while we're still on food I should just go with it and tell you that I am absolutely obsessed with Califia Califia? I feel like I never say that right Califia yeah Califia coffee company or milk company they are honestly amazing so if you're trying to go on the whole alternative milk thing, which I've been trying to do because I'm certain, I'm almost certain that cow's milk is make my tummy feel weird if I have too much of it. I'm fine in small doses, but long, I was basically having like four or five milky coffees a day and it just was not good for me. Like it just made me feel really bloated. I've not completely come off cow's milk. I do still buy it and we use it as a family, like the kids in the morning, cereal, all that stuff. So we do still use cow's milk, but I am obsessed with these oh my god now they are kind of dear i don't know what you'd expect to pay for something like this see the xx espresso one that's two pounds fifty it's kind of dear isn't it and that's two pounds on offer and that's two pounds so i mean it's like it's kind of expensive for just milk but then as i keep thinking to myself if i didn't have these i'd be out buying a coffee so 6.50 for the three of them am i just being a cheapskate probably um, so these are, for anyone who doesn't know, they're soy free so they're made with almond milk and they just taste amazing. This one here hasn't got any coffee in it, this is just like a vanilla flavoured milk. This one's the lowest in calorie, it's got no added sugar, it's vegan, low in saturated fats, lactose free, soy free um, and it's basically a kind of light vanilla flavoured milk. Um, it's 17 calories per 100 ml so it's like nothing and it's so nice so that one's lovely it tastes kind of yogurty it's lovely and then i've got the x espresso x x espresso that's really hard to say this one is 31 calories per 100 ml so again really really low this one is more kind of just like a coffee taste but this one is the business this is the mocha one so this is the cold brew mocha coffee this one is 37 calories per 100 ml it's thick very thick so sometimes what i'll do is a mix of all three and i found like if i do 100 ml of this 100 ml of that and then 50 ml of that 
and makes the nicest frothy coffee and what I'll do is just pop all of that like a science experiment into my Arachino let it all whip up and froth up and get nice and warm and it makes the nicest coffee and I'm certain that that then works out at like 70 something calories really really low but I literally feel like I'm having a kind of bit like a, a kind of takeaway really really high calorie coffee it's so nice so definitely try these if you are looking for something different or if you're just interested if I've enticed you enough then try them I'm certain you can get them off of Ocado online and you can also get these in Tesco that's where I got them and where else do you get them Morrison's I'm certain you get it in Waitrose and um, bigger supermarkets basically do these so yeah absolutely love them they are so good I just want Aldi to bring out an alternative that's cheaper if you're listening can you please because it's kind of becoming a bit of an expensive habit although cheaper than going for coffee which I'm still doing okay so let's go into kind of like more what we call this health and well-being this section this is absolutely gorgeous I've talked about this on my Instagram stories I'm certain it was a pound and I wish I'd got 10 because it's absolutely gorgeous it's just one of these scent sachets you get them from Primark um, it's amber and patchouli which is just a gorgeous scent and I love the kind of like packaging it's really nice I've got it sitting behind my light in my office and every time I sit at my desk to edit I give it a little shake the whole room smells amazing so I love them so much they're for hanging up in your wardrobe but if you've got places you could kind of stash them like even inside pillowcases or down the back of your sofa so that every time you sit down you get a nice waft of fragrance so so nice so these were a pound and that one is just called gold on the back really highly recommend them do you know what it's like you're getting married buy one of them put it in with your wedding dress it's absolutely gorgeous now this is a bit of a joke because it's not charged and it's Sunday today so I'm kind of off it, I'm a bit more relaxed but on a weekday I absolutely cannot live without this, it's an Apple Watch. This is the Apple Watch 3, Fraser bought me it for her anniversary. I love it for tracking my steps, I also track calories on it because I can use my NutriCheck app, it's all linked up together. Um, I did think that Apple Watches were kind of a bit of a fad. I love mine and do you know what it's really good for? I am a nightmare with my phone, believe it or not. For being someone who's on social media quite a lot, I am a nightmare at answering the phone. So see if Fraser phones me and my phone's in my bag, it's missed for like an hour. Like I know it seems like I'm on Instagram a lot, but I have loads of periods of time in the day where I'm just not anywhere near my phone. So having this is really good because even like that, if I'm being distracted by my phone, like you know when you end up on TikTok and you go down a black hole and you're just sitting there for ages scrolling down a rabbit hole, I feel like if I've got my watch on, anything that's really important like a text message or a phone call or even an email that comes in, I can see it right away on my, on my watch instead of having the phone there. So I'll put my phone in a drawer or put it in my room on charge and then I'll sit in here, work away and anything that's urgent will go straight to my watch. It's great for tracking your exercise like that if I'm going to boot camp or I'm going to PT, I'll pop it on to the, I think it's called something like open goal outdoor workout and it tracks your heart rate and then tells you roughly the calorie count that you would have burned in that period of time just really really motivating keeps me on track gets my steps up it reminds me to move more it's really really good this one doesn't have cellular i don't think it's necessary like when are we really going out without your phone so if you are thinking about getting one i know it's really enticing to go and get the very newest model i think it's like 500 pounds 600 pounds for the new one I am certain that this one is like 200 or something, 250, so it's not as expensive but definitely worth it. I've not tried any other ones so I can't recommend to you if like the Garmin one's better or whatever but if you're thinking about getting a smartwatch they are really good. What I don't do though is I don't wear it to bed, I don't track my sleep with it at all because someone told me something about the radiation that comes off them, it's not good to wear it all the time. Plus to be honest I can only get two days out of this. If I was to wear it overnight so I definitely do put it off on charge when I'm just at home for the night like if I go for my shower it goes on charge and then I wear it the next morning so it's only on me from like I don't know seven for example till seven at night but very very good if anyone's thinking about getting someone a really special present anniversary birthday whatever then Apple watches are really good I need to change the straps though because they're a bit they're a bit guy like aren't they so if anyone has recommendations for good Apple watch straps then let me know. Next up I'm going to speak about an independent brand that sent this to me. I've seen so many people talk about princess planning 
on Instagram, I think is it Harry, Southern World Guy, on Instagram speaks about princess planning so much. I feel like if I've not got things organised then they just don't happen. So I was looking for a notebook for the podcast. If you guys don't already know then Lauren and Ailey and I have got a podcast called The Good Motherhood. It's on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify. So if you're looking for a podcast please go and listen. It is a good laugh. You don't need to be a mum to listen to it. I mean to be honest it's now kind of like went away from motherhood a wee bit and just like everyday life stuff. But we do talk about motherhood topics as well but you definitely don't need to be a mum to listen to it. Um, and I was looking for a notebook just for writing down ideas for things to talk about on the podcast, like topics. So as I was talking about that on my last YouTube video, I did like a Poundland haul and I bought this notepad but it was all sealed and when I opened it, it wasn't what I thought it was. It's so annoying. It was like a an organiser more than just a notepad. Anyway, the lovely owner of the company messaged me and said that she'd love to send me a bundle. So I was delighted. This is what I got. Look at that. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? So this is the notebook here, or this is the organiser. You open it up inside. It's got a little kind of like, um, what do you call them again? Crocodile teeth. You put in your little refillable booklet. So this is a 12 week plan. So it's good that you know that it's not like forever. It's a 12 week countdown. In here you've got all these little goals stickers. So if you've lost weight, mine's is a weight loss one. If you've lost weight, then you can put in how much you've lost, little tick stickers for when you've done stuff that you're supposed to do. It's just very, very motivating. There's little quote stickers, just really nice. There's also a little pocket in here for anything you might want to keep in there. There is little folders here that you want to maybe put in. I don't know if you've got business cards or just little bits of info that you want to keep there, receipts, anything like that. And then in this section, you can make them not weight loss plans, you can make them just like kind of productivity plans. You get these refillable notepad sections. I'm going to show you a section that I've not filled out. Um, it's really good. So you just put in your day, your calorie target, the date, and then what you're having for breakfast, how many calories, lunch, dinner, snacks. Um, and then it's also got your mood, whether you worked out, whether you were on plan or off plan, your water, fitness steps how much you've achieved, minutes, it's very, very good. So when you go through all of that, you then get to the end of your week and it'll ask you for, again, your meal planner, what you're planning to have in that week. And then when you get to the end of the whole section, it gives you like a reflection thing. So it'll ask you um, how much you've lost, how if you've maintained or you've gained, your motivation, your goals for the next week, your non-scale victories, which are so important, like if you've fitted in a pair of jeans that you wanted or if you felt confident to go and do something that you ordinarily would be held back with. Really nice. Recipes to try and then it gives you a kind of like what you plan on doing this week. So really, really good. Um, keeps you motivated, keeps you on track and you can then go in and buy refillable. Um, there's notes on here as well. It tells you here it's time for another 12 weeks and then you can order more on the princess planning website so really great really really good i also got a book and then i got pen and a bottle water bottle great little planner if anyone is looking for a present highly recommend getting that for someone because it definitely keeps you on track again as i say it doesn't need to be for weight loss you can get these little refillable inserts for just like productivity things you need to do for your work for your house whatever cleaning stuff anything so I am delighted with that and thank you so much for sending it to me I'm so delighted that I got that through my letterbox it was just so nice something else that I've been loving recently you guys will have seen it on Instagram if you follow me if you don't then it's at my married please go and follow me over there I would love that um it is my cold water therapy tub I've been going to sessions out in the wild if you like um with a group so we go together, we go first thing in the morning, we find either like a local reservoir or a local waterfall. We go in, we do a dip, we do some meditation. It's so unbelievably helpful for me just to get clarity, to relax. It's so bizarre. Cold water exposure is so underrated. I'm going to do a whole video on this so that I can explain it more because it is quite tricky to go through in kind of like just a short period of time. So yeah, I've been loving cold water therapy. I've been going now for over a month and the health benefits I've found have been unbelievable. Just mentally, the clarity that I've been having is so, it's, everyone basically needs to know about it. It's amazing. If you have a chance to go, please go because it is, it's like nothing else you'll ever do. 
and you don't really realise how impactful it is until after you've done it. So definitely try and get out there, like it's free. Just go into like any local reservoir, you are allowed to do that, it's absolutely fine. I will make a whole other video on this because I feel like there have been quite a lot of questions, so I'll do a Q&A on that soon. But yeah, the cold water therapy is amazing. My friend Chloe has got a company called The Soul Hub and she does this from home. So if you don't feel comfortable going out somewhere, she does this from home and you basically get like a tub for your garden. It's amazing. Yeah, you blow up this rim around the top of it to keep it like structurally sound and it's got like kind of poles on it and stuff. And you fill it the night before or even that day if you want. Fill it up to the top, get in, go down, you need to do some breathing exercises before it, but she explains all of that to you. And just have five minutes or however much you can manage. Generally speaking, I try and go for like seven to eight minutes, which is quite a lot actually when I think about it from the very first time I did it till now. It's definitely been a kind of journey. I have been using her book too, which is over here, I'll get it for you. When you buy a tub, you also get one of these books um, with the Soul Hub branding on it. Um, Souls of the Water, it says in the back, and I've been using this constantly. Helpful for me to feel grounded and to feel grateful and it's a nice thing to do every day for yourself just to remind yourself how lucky you are, how lucky you are to be alive, how lucky you are for your family, for everything that's around you, for food in your fridge, for your confidence that day, for the weather that day, for your family, for the text someone sends you, it doesn't matter what it is, see if you write it down, any problems you've got just seem to disappear and it's amazing. So within her little um, package you get, you get this book, you get a pen, you get your cold water therapy tub and you also get access to her Facebook group so you can go in and talk to people and get a bit more info on what you should be doing like your Wim Hof breathing all that stuff it is amazing everyone needs to try it see any mental blocks you have any emotional blocks you've got the first few times I went in the water I could not stop crying and I mean like as if somebody had just died then and there the tears were just I wasn't even making a noise, the tears were just streaming out of my eyes and I was so emotional but apparently that's a really good response to have, it's a really powerful response to the water and it's like any emotional blockages, things that have been building up in your mind, I don't know like online hate, trolling, people saying nasty crap to me, I feel like it all just literally flushed out there and then, it was amazing so it just makes you feel a bit more in control of your life, a bit more in control of your mind, your thoughts, we're all totally suffering after this year. Anyone who's still had a normal-ish year at work or whatever, you don't realise how much this has impacted every single person. So just having that thing that you go and do, that you go, right, this is my routine. I get up in the morning, I go out, I use my tub, I write down my three gratitude parts for my day, and then I go on with my day. I was going to say it's so underrated, but it's not. It's just not very well known because anyone who actually does this, I've not had anyone who's come back and said, try cold water therapy, hated it. I'm not one person, so you need to try it. Honestly guys, if you try one thing from this whole experience, this whole video, try cold water therapy, it is incredible, so good. And like that, you don't need to go out in a group. A group's really good. I think a group's really encouraging and it's quite inspiring seeing other people, but if you're too scared to go in a group, just go and get a tub and do it in your garden. Chloe's your girl. On Instagram, it's The Soul Hub, Chloe Ferns. She's amazing, she's so inspiring, she's just as a baby. Her and her baby go 10k runs together in the pram, but she is so on it, so definitely go and check out Chloe, she's amazing. And tell her that I sent you across because it's always good to get a recommendation, isn't it? I cannot believe how long this video is. I did not intend it being this long. I was actually looking and thinking, I've not got enough stuff for a favourites, but I have got loads of things. Right, this is controversial, this one, and I honestly feel like people are going to be like, oh god, it's one of them again. I got a Lumi. I seen so many people using them and I was like, oh my God, surely that, that can't be any different to the ones that I see on Amazon. I seen lots of reviews and I honestly spent no word of a lie about three weeks researching these. Like most nights I would sit for like 10, 15 minutes just looking at reviews, looking at people's reviews online, reading stuff. And I just then wanted to get one because most of the people I'd seen on YouTube talking about them even people who don't sell new skin were saying that the ones on eBay and the ones on Amazon and the ones from like AliExpress and all that, when they, they're on your skin, they actually tug and pull your skin. So it makes your skin, like basically you don't get the tautness that this gives you. you 
your skin gets pulled and it actually damages your skin. So I then thought, you know what, there's a reason, there must be a reason why these are as expensive as what they are. I paid £150 for mine, that was for that and a cleanser. It's a lot of money, it's a lot of money, I can't deny it, that is a lot of money for something. But I've used it every single day, twice a day, so see cost per use. I'm not trying to convince you to buy one of these by the way because I don't sell them. So um, it's up to you. you, you buy one if you want. But my honest opinion is, first time I used it I was like, this is a load of crap. It's, it's not that good. Honestly I was disappointed, I was like, what is the big hype about this? It's not any different from just washing my face normally and I'm good at skincare. And then I started using it every single day for two weeks. And by the end of the two weeks, everyone on Instagram was messaging me saying, what have you done with your skin? Your skin's really glowy. And I'd noticed it myself, but I thought, am I just thinking that because, like, I'm using this. And I'm talking when I had no makeup on, people were saying, your skin looks glowy, and I had no filter. Zero filter. I actually did it. Did a little test just to see what was going to be said. Loads of folks said, your skin looks amazing. What have you used? Blah, blah. I didn't tell anyone that it was this. If anyone hasn't seen one of them, I don't know how, because everyone is selling them. It's a Lumi Spa, and that'll be a familiar noise. I'm certain you could put that noise into Shazam, and it will say Lumi Spa, because I've seen everyone on stories doing their makeup or taking their makeup off, sorry, using this stuff. I'll be honest, I don't think the cleanser is worth it. There's many, many good cleansers out there. I personally just don't really like this cleanser a lot. I have used it. Don't get me wrong, but I then go back in and use another one because I don't think this is as good. What I have been doing is using my Elemis cleanser with this. Game changer. Absolute game changer. I've been using this now for two weeks. Now don't get me wrong, you can probably see I've got a spot here and a spot here. It definitely does bring some spots to the surface, but it doesn't bring out that really sore, infected, like a really painful spot area. You know, when it's like red and sore, it doesn't do that. I really, really rate it. So if you don't already know, then this is like an outer circle that spins in one direction and this inner circle spins in another direction. So the two of them kind of do like that. Do, 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 do. It's like a trumpet. <laughs> the two of them kind of do like that. And it helps to like pull all the crap out your pores. I do find that when I wash my face, I'm very good at washing it. I don't do like face wipes and then leave it. I'm always like a two cleanse kind of person. This doesn't like, you know, sometimes when you see people going like, oh my God, look at the amount of muck that brought out my skin. It doesn't really do that with me because I feel like I do cleanse my skin really well. It does still bring out a lot of impurities, but it's more the smoothness and the exfoliation that I see the difference in massively. It's not like I'm looking and going, that's completely brown with all my makeup. It's not like that for me. It's more like a, I do it and I clean my face and then I go, wow, I, my skin looks really, really clean and I'm quite dry. Like my face is really dry and I've not had any dry skin around my nose or my cheeks or my if I look like I'm in a bit of a different position, I had to just change my camera back because I cannot honestly believe how long this video is. Um, yeah, Lumi Spa. I don't sell these. I bought mine from my friend Rebecca Lamb. She swears by hers. And actually, I messaged her and she said, like, you know, how are you getting on with it? And I was honest, I was like, I don't really think it's that good. And she said that she felt the same way. She didn't realise what the fuss was about in the first day, which is ridiculous, really, that I would expect results on day one. Think about it. But... I was just, I was like, I've paid 160 quid for this thing. It better actually give me a new face. So I started using it day one. I was like, nah, that's not that great. Day two, still not that impressed. And then day three, still not impressed. And it got to the end of two weeks using it twice a day. It does two minutes. That bit there will like pulsate for 30 seconds. Then we'll go to that side, that side, that side. And it's like the four quadrants of your face you're supposed to do. Um, but I think, see, exfoliation wise, getting rid of all the dead skin in the top layer. That's where I see it the most personally. I know that there's like seven health benefits or seven skin benefits from using it. The ones that I really see the massive difference with is definitely the cleansing. Like, you can't deny it. The cleansing is definitely cleansing my skin. Ultimately, it's getting all the dirt out of my skin. But I still have really good cleansers that were doing that anyway, if that makes sense. This, for me, is just kind of like taking it up a little bit of a notch and getting rid of the dead skin. So I think, ultimately, if I'm doing that, I feel like it is tightening my skin a good bit. But it's 100% the exfoliation factor that I think is unreal with this. And I love the fact that if I go too hard, it stops. Because it knows that you're putting too much pressure on, kind of like your toothbrush. So yeah, I do really, really rate it. 
weirdly enough because if you'd asked me that after the first week I would be like nah it's not really worth it and I really really like it. That cleanser is not as good as my Elemis one though I have to say but the actual device I'd say if you can get it on an offer is so worth it and even then if you can't get it on an offer I know it's still a lot of money it's affordability wise you're like I know it's worth it but who's got 200 quid to shell out I suppose it is, it's a lot I get it but I'm using it every single day so I feel like for me cost per use it's amazing and it's kind of like that with other things that I'm going to show you in this video today. Things that I've bought with my own money that I kind of go wow that's a lot to spend on something but it's very very much worth it. So yeah that's probably a bit of a mixed review. Like I didn't like it in the beginning, I now like it now. I don't sell them. If you want one message Rebecca Lamb, she sells them. She always has good deals as well but I think I paid like £160 I'm sure it was for that and I think it took maybe about five days to come five days to a week to come but it's really good i think it's good if you're not very good with your skin and if you've got acne it's meant to be unbelievable for getting rid of that so yeah i would say i give it like a 10 out of 10 now but in the beginning i didn't but i do now some of you may have found me from my aldi dupes video um which was showing like all the lacura dupes for all the kind of more expensive brand stuff this is meant to be the same as the Sicily Paris range. This one here is the Ebony Rose Face Mask and this here is the La Cura Ebony Rose Face Cream. Certain that these are £7.99 and £6.99, less than £10 each anyway. And they are like gold dust because quite rightly so, they're incredible. That face mask makes me look like I have a new face. I don't know what it is, it calms any redness. I am definitely very sensitive in the skin sensitive not always but i am sensitive in the skin and if i touch my face it goes bright red so this seems to calm all of that down and it's got black rose extract pro vitamin b5 shea butter and it says in here that the skin appears more smooth softer and plump see the plump thing it's so true see all here and my cheeks they look like really as if i've had like i don't know botox and filler done in a good way it's your whole face just looks very very pumped full of collagen it's amazing so uh, that is just that's just the um the face mask as well this one here is the face cream i use this in the day it doesn't say if it's day or night it does look like a night product but i use this in the day under makeup quite a lot and it's amazing if you see this in aldi not my local one though if you see it in my local one get me one <laughs> but if you see this in aldi you need to get it it's amazing so so good so yeah, I had to recommend these in it and actually how much have I got left in this? I've got another one in standby but I've used quite a bit and as you can see that's quite squashed. I've used quite a bit of that as well. It's really good and you know what, I love when you get something that's not expensive but just works. It's really, really nice. Definitely if you can get these even as a wee gift for someone, get double and then hold it back and put it as a gift for someone. I'm always saying that, how annoying, such a mum comment. Something else, it's a bit of a bargain is this this was 15 pounds it's the zara wonder rose perfume i think it smells like the victor and rolf what's the little one that's like a bow is it called bonbon i think it smells like that it's stunning really nice very very sweet i have been going for all the kind of botanical type scents all the kind of joe malone type scents but today or on this day when i bought this i was feeling very girly very spring like, hot girl summer, who am I? Go home mum. I was feeling very much like inspired by just very girly stuff and I love this and look at the size of it. This is 150 or 200, it's 200 mil, 200 mil bottle and it's gorgeous and do you not think it's quite a simple design that it looks nice on the side of your bedside table or whatever? I've only got that a week ago, look how much I've sprayed. It's one of those ones I go, oh, that smells so nice. I'm just going to spray some more. You can't, you can't smell your own perfume sometimes. So I love that a lot. 15 quid. Actually, the 100ml one was like £12. So another three quid. And you were getting the full size, like double the size. So I love that. I'm actually going to try and make my way through a lot of the Zara ones. So if you've got one you recommend, then let me know. Right, the next lot of things is makeup related. Um, this here, I did actually have a previous collaboration with Hair Burst. This is the Hair Burst Mascara, well, Lash Enhancer, Brow Enhancer, my brows. Let's actually zoom in so you can see the brows. 
I'll just come forward to you. The brows, can you actually see the brow hairs? Look. Look how much thicker my brow hairs are. It's crazy. I cannot believe it. That's now been like two months, I think. And the lashes, like they're my own eyelashes. I know I've got mascara on. Probably should have taken a picture to just show you how much they've grown. But they'll continue to grow because I use this every single day. I need to actually get some more because I'm running a bit low. But it lasts for ages actually. They had a sale on, when was that? Like last month or something. And I think you were getting buy one get one free on everything. So if you were clubbing with my friend it was good. But this is I think £20. So it's buy one get one free so you're getting it for like a tenner. So good. Um, this is a lash and brow enhancer and I use it every single morning and night and the results should be observed after four to six weeks of use. I've seen results already after like two weeks. I'm not joking. Very, very good. So now this is where I'm really seeing the results but these will continue to grow. It just helps to promote lash growth and brow growth and it's really nice to set your brows as well or even just to put a little coating of that on before mascara. Something else, I've been loving our cream products and I don't know if it's because my skin's been quite good from using the Lume but... I've got two things to show you, both of which by the way are gifted, so I haven't actually paid for these, but I think that gives me like an impartial review more than anything, because if I spend money on something, I force myself to like it. Honestly, it's like the Lumi thing, I go, come on, just keep trying it. See, if I'd been gifted that, I would kind of go, oh no, it's fine, after one use it's fine, I'm not using it anymore, because there's no obligation for me to talk about it, does that make sense? So, if I had used one of these and went, that's rubbish, I wouldn't keep persevering with it, because it was gifted, whereas if I spent £20 on it, I'd be more likely to make myself like it so that I'm actually not wasting money. So when people say like, oh, you only like that because you got it gifted, I'm like, it's the total opposite way around for me. Maybe that's the same way for other people, but definitely not for me. I feel like I need to get my money's worth. Right, this here is the Pixie On The Go blush. Oh my God, it is so nice. I've got it on just now. Not in this colour though, I've got the more kind of coral colour, which is called Juicy. This colour is called Ruby, I'm sure. This is a hydrating solid cheek tint and um, you can use it on your cheeks and your lips. Let me just show you on my hand. It is so easy to apply. It's very glossy and very scary on the first application but maybe I should just put it on my cheeks for now so you can see it. But see when you apply that and then you rub it in, I kind of use like a stippling brush to do it and it just makes your cheeks look nice and glossy. I've got no highlighter on. No highlighter. This is just from using that and another product I'm going to show you. This one's more like a kind of um, corally colour. This one's more like a daring ready tone, which I really like. So I've been using this, just putting like a little kind of swipe of that on each cheek, kind of two finger widths from the edge of my nose. Make sure I kind of blend it in up towards my hairline, just like up the cheekbone. It's so gorgeous, I absolutely love it. I never used to be a fan of cream products because I feel like they never sat on your face well, but they've obviously now been formulated that when they blend they don't move the rest of your makeup. I did have something, what was it? It was a benefit product years ago that I had that as soon as I put it on top of my foundation it left a ring of foundation around where the cream product was because it moved it. So they definitely blend very nicely. That's going to last me forever. Like I just cannot imagine getting to the end of this. Let's just spin it up. There's loads of it. Absolutely loads. When are you ever finishing that? Nuts. So you are getting a lot of products for the price. I'll leave it linked below. These are brand new as well, so they've only just come out and they're very, very popular. As are a lot of the cream products at the moment. So yeah, loving that one. There's also a light pink and then there's that kind of, um, you know, more coral coloured one. Then another cream product, which is game changing for me. I've got it on again. This is Iconic Sheer Bronze. Um, Iconic are kind of well renowned for all their cream products. You can kind of dab it on like that and you can either use your fingertips to kind of just blend it out or you can use a brush and this just is the nicest bronzer ever. I've got that on like my cheeks here blended into the the pixie stuff. So so nice. I've actually not tried their cream blush, which is meant to be amazing. So it'd be good to see a comparison between this one and the sheer blush that they've got. I think that the Pixie one is more like a gloss, like a cheek gloss, more than a cheek blush. But oh my god, it's so, so nice. If you get that, it lasts for ages. I got this product and I was like, that's tiny. How on earth can you use that 
to bronze as well like bronzer takes up a lot of your face i was thinking how on earth can you use that for like months but i've had that now for probably around two or three months and it still feels full i've got the color spice tan that's the one i tend to use a lot or there's another one it's called beach something beach bronze i think i go between the two of them but either way you can still blend out if you get a deeper tone and you think it's maybe a bit too deep for you you can just blend it right out like it's so good so yeah definitely recommend these especially for summertime and we don't want to have big caked faces of makeup it's just so nice to have something a bit more sheer and then the last thing i'm going to show you is mascara now i got this it was a friend that recommended it to me and if, at first i was like i don't like it it's not it's too watery that's what i thought so i don't know if maybe you using it a couple of times i've dried it out a little bit but this is the maybelline sky high mascara i got it on three for two and i think that was in super drug this is the color jet black or very black that is what the applicator looks like it's like a kind of comb and then let me just show you i know i've got lots of mascara on the now but it's very bendy i don't know if you can really see that but the actual applicator is super duper flexible so it kind of grabs all of your lashes and really coats them so i'm thinking if i can put a coat of that on then leave it do the rest of my makeup and then do one last coat at the end it's so nice and it really separates my lashes i've not had semi-permanent lashes on now for what's that now six six months so between using the hair burst lash enhancer and then using a really good mascara i'm not missing them that much don't get me wrong i'm never saying never to going back to lashes because i do love them but I'm kind of enjoying having the ability to completely take my makeup off just now. So yeah, love that mascara. It's actually really good. But again, I'm one of these people that try things first off and I'm like, don't really like it. And then it kind of grows on me. But that's what I'm saying. See, like that, if that had been a PR product, I would have tried that and went, nah, give it to someone. Doesn't work for me. Whereas because it's mine and I've had to learn to like it because I've paid money for it, I'm more likely to try it again. But like that, um, I do really like it. So it's worked out this time. And then I really could not have done a favourites video without including this because it has changed my whole routine. It has changed the way I do my hair. Um, this is the Dry Snare Wrap and I'm just looking at my hair just now because I'm remembering what I used on it. This I used this morning. My hair is still like really nice and full and blow dried looking. It's £500, right? £450 is. It's expensive. It is so unbelievably expensive. All Dyson products are, but for good reason. This is amazing. You know what? This is one of those ones where you need to believe the hype. It honestly speaks for itself. Go and watch my first impressions of it. I am actually going to do a video over the course of this week where I do a different hairstyle every day using this so that you can see all the different attachments. But today I've used a very well loved blow drying brush attachment. So if you've not seen it already, it comes in this beautiful box. It should do it, £450. And this is it inside. Mine's a bit messy. You get the actual handle, which at the bottom here, don't hold that because that is where the air gets sucked through. Um, it's got three different speed settings, three different heat settings. It's got a cool shop that you push it up for. And I don't really understand why there's two of these, right? I'll be honest. But it's got two of these brush heads like this. I use the one with the little pink tips on it for Charlie's hair and see if you are a mum of boys and they get that thing in the morning when they wake up they've got total bed heads and it won't go down for love nor money unless you wet and dry it. See if you use this dry on top of their hair. I can sell Charlie's hair in seconds, no word of a lie. It's so good, see even for that alone I'd pay 4 50 for it. Um, so yeah, it's got two of these attachments, it's got these barrels it's got four of these two small and two bigger ones these are the short ones which i definitely definitely need to get longer barrels because i've got extensions in my hair and my hair is long and um, so yeah i need to get the longer ones i think that i kind of don't really have a preference on what size i like they do different things so one barrel goes that way one barrel goes that way but if you're just lazy like me you can either hold it up like this or hold it down like that. It does the same thing, depending on what way you're going. Then it's got this little attachment here, which is like your hair dryer. I have got a Dyson hair dryer. I don't think that replaces it. If you're thinking about getting a new hair dryer and think, I'm just going to get the Dyson hair wrap, you're kind of like barking up the wrong tree a wee bit. Personally, I don't think you can really use it like that. But someone I seen 
on TikTok the other day was saying people are using this and drying their hair like that, you're actually supposed to put your hair inside it. But I just don't understand how, let me try it because I don't understand how that works. It just seems weird for me. Like why would you put your hair inside that? I, it can't be, it just, it simply cannot be the case. I'm going to have a look and see if that is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, apparently. Do that. No, instead of that. That, does, that is not right, that cannot be right. Look how awkward that is to put your hair in. I honestly think that's a hoax because that feels weird. If anyone has clarity on that, like Dyson if you're watching, we've worked together before, I feel like you've totally done my legs by not telling me that I'm supposed to put my hair through the hole and not like just blast it. But on that note I have got the supersonic hair dryer which I worked with them on and I feel like the way that I look at it is the supersonic hair dryers for drying your hair. It is a hair dryer. This does not replace a hair dryer. This is like a styling set, but you can style your hair from wet. But even there, I still style it when it's dry. And you just need both. That's all I'm going to say. You need both. If you're just wanting to quickly dry your hair, I wouldn't be using my air wrap. But if you want to do a style in your hair from wet, you certainly can do that if you've got a wee bit more time. It is quick though, but like, look. Like, look at that curl. How can you even argue with that? It is amazing. And then they brush out so nicely as well. So if you want to just make it sit like a bit more like that, it's very, very good. So I'm going to finish up on that. This is the longest, the absolute longest favourite video that I probably filmed or even watched. So if you're still here at the end, then thank you so much for watching. If you do like any of the products that I mentioned, I will leave a uh, list below in the description box. I'll try and link everything. Like I say, I don't sell Lumi, so if you're needing to get one of them, then either speak to Rebecca Lamb or Rebecca Meldrum, they sell them. Um, and yeah, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time, guys. Bye.